What's going on guys? Welcome to the Swing Trader channel and I am freaking pissed right now. So pissed about this stock ONTX. You know, it was going up so good in the morning and then it started dumping. And why? Because they put out news right in the morning. We're going to be going through dilution. They're putting an offering $5 million. And I'm like, I got in the stock in the first place because it wasn't going through dilution. But now it is, so I'm really pissed off. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my story about that. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and talk about you guys. You guys had a pretty bad day today, you know, so I already knew that was gonna happen, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see what the heck is going on with it too. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, we need to find another swing trade here. So we got some more money on the table, so we need to find something to swing trade. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and talk about home. I'm still in this for a swing trade. Home actually had a really good day today, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. Let's get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at ONTX here, the stock that absolutely pissed me off today. Pissed me off, people, it pissed me off. So this run started happening early in the morning. It was around six o'clock or something. It just started ripping and went all the way up to 50 cents here. And then it started going down. I'm like, oh, today's gonna be a good day for ONTX. Yes, yes. Maybe I'm gonna hit my number around 70 something cents that I thought I was gonna hit. But no, they had to put out news saying that, oh, they're gonna give out a $50 million offering at 34 cents or whatever it was. Boom! The stock dropped immediately and I'm like, ugh. So I waited for the rebound, got up on the rebound and then I got out of it and made a little bit of money. Not much, not much money at all to even write home about or anything. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, why'd you get out of it if you didn't hit your number? I don't like being in stocks that are being diluted, especially when they first start off being diluted. And I'm gonna tell you why here. So right now they got about 5 million shares being diluted at about 34 cents. So that's telling me that it's gonna stay around the 34 cents area and the 33 cents area. And it's gonna be very tight. And that's basically what it did today. It was, you know, pretty tight. So basically what's going to happen right now, I think with this stock is basically just going to go down a straight arrow, go up to 34 cents, get diluted, then come back down to 33, maybe 32, maybe go up to 35 cents, get diluted again. And it's just going to go through that whole process until the 5 million shares is diluted. So there's no point for me to really be in this trade if I'm a swing trader, because the stock's not going to really move the way that I would want it to. You can just see down here at the bottom, how much the volume is just decreasing. It just decreased. It just went right away. And they do have a conference coming up later tonight but with with this news coming out i don't think it's going to be much of anything significant that's going to happen with this stock tomorrow but i'll keep my eye on it just to make sure that nothing crazy is going to happen but i'm pretty much throw it in the trash done with it on to the next swing trade everybody all right so we got you gas pulled up here and of course you know i had a huge drop down i've told you guys numerous times i don't even want to touch you guys right now just because of this reason i still don't think we're going to go into a rs this year i still think it's going to happen next year let's go over and take a look at forward slash ng and see if there's a bounce that might happen tomorrow okay we did hit that support level here at a two dollars and 21 cents but one thing that does concern me it did break through our trend line here going up. So that's not good. That's not good at all. So the upward trend of natural gas has been broken. Well, it is on support right now. So we could see a bounce back up here to about $2.33 where that's going to be resistance right there. But personally me, I'm still staying away from this. The time that I really like to trade you gas is right around September. That's when I like trading you gas because it's a pretty straightforward that you're going into winter time and it's going to start to ride up. And plus during that time you have hurricanes so whenever a hurricane comes in, the price of natural gas goes up as well. So there's a lot more at play right now. All you got is cold winter, but the storage is already full and not really much is going to happen during this time. But if I'm a guessing man, I'd probably say that tomorrow we're going to see a green day. Not much of one though, probably, but nonetheless, I think it's going to be a green day. Uh, Ugh, bless me. All right, now we're looking at home here and I'm still in this swing trade right here. Home had a really nice day because you can see it just ripped here today pretty good. And this is getting closer to my number where I want to let it go. So if we take a look at the bigger picture here, do the 180 day four hour chart, you can see what my number is and why I'm thinking about getting rid of it there. So I'm in this stock at $5 and 22 cents and I'm looking to get rid of it right around the $8 mark. It's going to have resistance up here at about $8 and 48 cents, but I think $8 would be a pretty good profit. And I don't know if it's going to get to it just to make sure, but that's my goal for the swing trade basically is to get rid of it right around eight dollars so we're gonna see how that plays out but as of right now it's doing pretty good so my game plan is once it gets up to the eight dollar mark i'm gonna go ahead and watch it like a hawk because if it wants to keep moving up i'm not gonna go ahead and sell it i'm just gonna keep it until this thing starts to show me that it's gonna go on a reversal pattern so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep my eyes on it right when it gets up to the eight dollar mark i mean don't get me wrong i got my eyes on it right now just in case anything crazy does happen but that's my game plan and it's always good to have a game plan so you have something to stick to and you just don't go in there blindfolded saying i don't know 
know when I'm going to sell it, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. That's why you always want to have a game plan. So now that we're out of the swing trade, I need to go ahead and find myself a new one. So just make sure to hit that subscribe button. So when I do find it, you know, you'll be notified about it. And don't forget to like this video too, because it really helps me out. Let's make some money, everybody.